what is an internal origin and how does it work in Revit? This is a very common question. Let's understand how does it really work. So if you switched on by going visibility and graphics, what you will realize that in the drawing area, you have two arrows. Right now I see green and red, and there will be also blue for z-axis. So green is for y-axis and red is for z-axis. And if I just click OK and zoom in here, if I just try to create a line, I will be also able to snap. When I snap in the between, here the, the area is actually 0, 0, 0 location. So you might be surprised that Revit has a 0, 0, 0 location, but it actually works very similar to the AutoCAD. If I draw a line and if I navigate and my, move my mouse around the drawing area, you will see the point references numbers are changing. And if I go to the closer to the Y and X axis, you'll see that it's coming to almost a zero. And if I just write zero, zero, and if I just click enter, as you can see, it also starts line from the origin. So literally internal origin is the zero, zero, zero location of Revit, like any other software, like 3ds Studio Max and 3ds Max and SketchUp, Rhino and so forth. One thing to note, you cannot move your origin. So it will be forever there. That's why if you didn't consider it from the beginning of the project, you might have a bit of issues for coordination later on, which we will cover later. If you like this video and more videos like this, subscribe to our channel because there will be many more. And don't forget to turn the notification bell on.